Okay. This is Megaskirt 3. I've got my Bluetooth hooked up. It was working on the phone, so couldn't really record it. And uh, I went and put a little Bluetooth dongle in my laptop after installing the drivers, yes. discovering the uh, Bluetooth. Of course, it'll give you a send and receive COM port. You got to make sure you select the correct one in Megasquirt or Tuner Studio. And to show that it works, here is my RPMs. And it's pretty responsive. Uh, there's not much of a delay at all. So uh, I don't know how that will work with Auto Tune or not, but uh, seems to be pretty quick. Uh, throttle. Or, uh, I'm sorry, TPS, yeah. Coolant. Manifold air temperature. RPMs again. This is the map. Boost cut at 15, 16 pounds. Uh, that's it. I've taken, uh, made myself a little adapter cable. This is an actual AEM standalone that's in the vehicle now. And uh, this adapter here, of course I'm gonna change out the, well this is for a Mega Squirt 2, but uh, I'm getting a DB37 right here. It goes here, plugs straight into the harness for the vehicle, and I can swap in out, swap in one of three ECUs, MS2, MS3, uh, and as you can see, this is a complete upgraded MS3. It's got the MS3X board, so uh, it does just about anything. And there's the Bluetooth mounted way down inside there. I put one pin through the 5-volt proto, so it suspends itself just off the board. And then I wired three more cables, two to the, R the 232 chip and uh, one to ground. And that's it. I'm going to put the case back on and see how it works.